uh, and the chairman of uh, National Innovation Center. This is a uh, you know not non not for profit uh, organizations we have established and we are doing you know different types of innovative uh, activities uh, using these you know talented and innovative uh, people of, of Nepal. The goal is to keep them here in Nepal. So okay, next slide, please. Uh, this program, Resilient Healthcare Model, uh, Dr. Um, Rajkumar, he already explained it. So next slide, please. And also structure, he already explained about how it will work. And the next slide, please. So just to give uh, some, uh, some uh, you know, clear idea about what uh, that health healthcare model is. Uh, so uh, I have this slide. In the middle, there will be a hub, which is Nangi, uh, you know. Uh, and around Nangi, there are uh, about 10 uh, health posts. Some of them are government health posts and some of them are, you know, private health. Some of them are, are private health posts, um, health clinics. And uh, those uh, that uh, hub or the hospital in Nangi will provide, you know, services uh, to, the, uh, to the other, uh, you know, satellite uh, clinics. Uh, for connecting those uh, clinics uh, with uh, wireless technology uh, for communication and that's what my main role is uh, you know and uh, we have started doing this is since 2004 uh, and uh, still we are doing it and we are connecting more and more hospitals and clinics uh, next slide please uh, uh, and we are connecting that through wireless because we don't have you know fiber mm network here in the mountain is very difficult to put fiber so we have to rely uh, on wireless technology to connect all those uh, hospitals and the clinics next slide so let me just uh, go through this uh, drone technology we are developing uh, all of you know that there is already in a drone services uh, you know people are you know providing uh, in different parts of the country uh, of the world they are doing it in America, they are doing it in, you know, Africa, and there are uh, drone already available uh, in, in the market. But uh, the reason we are developing this drone uh, is uh, because, uh, first, those drones that is available in the market are very expensive. We are not, uh, you know, going to afford uh, those uh, drones available in the market. The second uh, goal is to, you know, use the, you know, innovative and talented people, engineers of Nepal, you know, to develop the drone uh, uh, by themselves uh, here in Nepal, so that it can be uh, cheap and uh, cheaper, and uh, you know, uh, it can be more uh, you, know, you know economically feasible. So that's what we are doing. Uh, and uh, next slide, and that that one, uh, the second drone is this is a six-wing uh, medical drone. We are developing the earlier one was you know multicopter. Uh, next. Next slide, and this is a hybrid uh, drone we are, you know, uh, going to develop. Uh, and the next slide. So uh, let me uh, explain a little bit about these three types of drone we are developing. The first one is multicopter. It will have, you know, six, you know, rotor blade or maybe eight rotor blade or four rotor blade, and depending on the need. And so the reason we are developing this multicopter is because they have. Uh, they are good for you know short range. They can take off like helicopter and uh, land, and uh, you know, uh, but they are good for only for short range, maybe five kilometer or six kilometer within that range. But if we have to you know deliver medicines uh, in the in the remote uh, more for the distance areas, we have to rely on fixed wing drones. That's why uh, we are developing the fixed wing drone also. This fixed wing drone will go. 25 kilometer, 20 kilometer, or 30 kilometer in that range. That's uh, what we are developing now. And the third, third one is hybrid, which is a you know combination of fixed wing and and multi-copter uh, drone. Uh, the reason we are developing this uh, you know hybrid drone is because uh, depending on the situation, sometimes the uh, the drone have to you know go there and deliver medicine and collect you know uh, you know body fluid sample uh, from the rural clinics and the fixed wing one just can go and uh, deliver medicine and come back by itself 
but uh, it cannot just land. But the, the hybrid one, the goal is to use the hybrid, uh, you know, drone uh, to also land in the, uh, you know, rural clinics and collect the body sample like the blood sample or urine sample or stool sample and bring back to the hub uh, for, you know, lab testing. Next. So uh, this is how we will, uh, you know, use the drone. First, you know, all this, uh, you know, the clinics, uh, satellite clinic will be connected to the, uh, to the uh, hub or the, uh, the hospitals uh, through wireless network uh, for telemedicines or for communications. Uh, also, then when there is some problems, when the, you know, clinics in the remote areas, they need medicines. Uh, they will call to the hub and the hub will, you know, send, um, will send medicine through the drones uh, to that specific, uh, you know, clinic uh, uh, in, the, in the village. And then the, then if there is need to collect uh, like uh, the body uh, fluid, uh, body sample, uh, you know, they will also, the village health force will also, you know, ask the, uh, the hub to, you know, send drone, the hybrid drone, uh, so, uh, so that it can land there and then collect the you know, body fluid and <coughs> to the, uh, to the, to the uh, uh, hub. Uh, and uh, and uh, the, the, there will be, you know, um, lab, um, they will, uh, you know, test the, the body fluid and uh, then then deliver the necessary medicine. This is how uh, it will work. Uh, this is uh, in, going to be interesting project. Uh, the reason we are doing it is, is because, uh, like uh, Dr. Uh, you know, Rajkumar, he showed the, the, the geographical, uh, you know, situation of the of the, the remote areas of Nepal. It takes maybe, you know, if we walk from one village to another village, it takes maybe about four hours or within this, uh, even within this Nangi, uh, you know, hospitals, uh, you know, some of the clinics are, you know, three, four hours walk, some of the clinics are one day walk far. That's why uh, whenever there is need, we will use the, we will use the, the drone to deliver medicine and uh, using the, uh, you know, the drone, it will take just maybe half an hour. So that will, uh, you know, that will be, you know, very helpful whenever there is a need of, you know, medicine uh, in the remote areas because there is the medicine is always not available uh, in the in the remote clinics. They have to go to the cities and bring yeah. the medicine. That is why we are using this drone. Thank you very much. Next slide. And that is my, you know, name and my contact number and my email. If you are interested uh, in this project, you can help me. We, I mostly can help uh, building the network, wireless network for communication. And also I can, you know, uh, we can build uh, the drones uh, for medical delivery. Maybe in future, if you need this kind of support from Nepal, uh, we can help you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mahabir Pond. It's a very interesting uh, presentation. Uh, despite we have a burning question about your presentation, uh, we uh -huh. still need to proceed to the next presentation. Mr. Dwinod Dangal, is that you? Yes, yes, we can hear you clear. So, next presentation. Department, Community Health. So, it is a very interesting uh, presentation with Medicopter technology. Uh, Mr. Mahavir Poon, are you still there? Yes, uh, how, how many village health posts are already utilizing this drone? And how, uh, as my understanding, the utilization is for sending the medications. And is it already uh, involved or is it already covered by the government? Or yeah, how 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 to cover the cost of the utilization of this drone? Okay. Okay. This, so uh, you know, uh, this go uh, road project is not you know done by the government. We are not getting any support from the government nor any organization. This is the you know national innovation center. 
doing it. Right now, you know, we are in this, uh, you know, building it and testing it. We started it, you know, about eight months ago. And uh, our engineers are working for the last eight months to build it and test uh, it in different environment. Uh, so it is not quite done yet. The goal is to make it fully autonomous so that it can go uh, and deliver the medicines and, and come back by itself. So the, the engineers are right now, the engineers are working for developing, uh, especially mostly uh, the, uh, the software uh, to make it fully autonomous and it is not fully you know, implemented in the real field, but we have uh, you know, tested it in the, in the rural environment. So I, we hope it will be, you know, complete. I mean, the, the first implementation will be in within next uh, four months. Yeah. Can you give us illustration about how many uh, health uh, health posts or village health posts is already you using this, and how how often is the transportation or the sending process using this uh, drone? Just like give me the illustration. Like I said, we have not implemented in the real field yet. We have oh. tested it in different environment uh, because we have tested the hardware, we have tested the software, everything. So we are testing it. So we are hoping to implement it within the next four months. Okay, I'm sorry. But it will work. Uh, we are very hopeful that it will work. Oh, yeah. We also have a question from the venue, please, Mr. Satya. Yeah, uh, this is Satya from India. The, these drones are only produced for this healthcare needs or uh, commercially also available? So these drones are, uh, at this moment, these drones are being produced uh, for the healthcare only uh, because we have named it in a medical drone or medicopter. That's the name. But once we develop this drone, you know, then uh, and when it, 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 it will start working, you know, well, then we can uh, produce it uh, on commercial scale uh, and it can be used for many other purposes. We have a uh, you know, very big team of engineers who are working it and, uh, you know, and they are trying to make it, uh, you know, make the drones as useful as possible uh, for the rural people and for the communities. So it can be used okay. for any purpose. Any other purposes? Okay. In India, generally, in my country, uh, we need to have security clearances for using a drone for in any uh, purpose, any any area. Is that same in your country also, being a border, yes, border yes. country? Yes, it, it, it is as yeah. strict as it is in your country, in Nepal as well. So we have to get clearance from the government and then we can get it from the government, the clearance from the government. So when one patient uh, directly utilizes these services, is there be any additional cost to the patient on this? Uh, look, the, pro the purpose is to provide you know, services to the people in a very remote areas or people to unreached people. So we cannot charge you know, high fee for you know, providing these services. Actually, this is the local government. The local governments will be implemented. We will have to, you know, sign MOU with the local governments and let the governments use it uh, in their in their area. So the local governments will of course pay, uh, you know, for some operational cost. And we are providing, you know, technical service only uh, to them. It is the local governments uh, who will, you know, implement this service and uh, pay for it. Uh, uh, pay for it, and uh, the users, especially the people who need medicine, they will have to pay, I think, very little fee uh, for getting that service, because uh, these are mainly targeted for you know, very poor people, and the poor people cannot afford to pay high fee for this kind of service. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, one last question: How long is the the, the distance? The, the maximum distance that you plan to be covered by the, the, the five kilometers, yeah. if I'm not mistaken? Uh, 30 kilometers. Because with, with the multi 30, 30 kilometers. 
30 kilometer. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, so depending, depending on the distance, we have to use different kind of drone. For the short distance, we can use maybe hexacopter or quadcopter or, you know, octacopter. A small, uh, multi, uh, you know, multi rotor uh, for short distance, like 4 5 kilometer. If the distance is 4 5 kilometer from the hub, then we will use this multi copter drone. If the distance is say uh, beyond like a uh, uh, 5, 10, uh, 15 kilometer or 30 kilometer, then we will have to use big wheel drone. And if we have to collect the body sample from the villages, we will have to use you know hybrid drones because hybrid drone can land as you know helicopter and take up as helicopter. The the big okay. drone it will just go and deliver the medicine and will come back. It will not land in the. Uh, in the Okay, thank you, Mr. Poon. It's very interesting, and we look forward to have the result of your project. Yeah. Uh, regarding, but please yeah. be careful regarding the. This is a biological things that you carry. In fact, your drone is uh, having an accident. Uh, you have to be careful about the pollution or contamination. But we look forward to have the result of your your project. And you know, we, we are we are working on every you know security issues you know every security and safety issues you know that uh, may happen. Of course, we cannot yes. make anything you know totally hundred percent you know right. But uh, we are you know working on especially security and safety issues. That is why it is taking uh, more time to build it and implement it. Okay, sorry, Mr. Pun, we got our uh, limited time.